Hi guys, how we doing? Um, just realized I forgot to actually turn my lights on. So that's fun. There we go. Now you can actually see what's going on here. So this is going to be the last video on this guy. Um, trying to get this to let go of the brushes I want. So what we're going to be doing is fading this out with gray, white, and maybe a little hint of black. Going through and touching up any of these spots that have just worn down. And just generally giving this little gentleman a more polished look. But you can kind of see where he needs a little bit of continued TLC to just give him that look of hiding the fact that we had to kind of re redo his nose. And we are going to use this white to just kind of fade in so he's not just so, so very, uh, solid lined there. And basically we're going to go in a few different spots with the white and just kind of perk it up and then we're going to come over that in some of those spots with the gray. And I actually did not mix a fresh gray this time. We just are actually going to come in with a really good acrylic just to kind of give that look that whole fade from one color to the next is the whole idea But we do want to lighten this up just a little bit so that when I come over it with the gray, it's just a nice, even tone. There we go. And that definitely softened that line up a little bit there. And then we're going to go over any little white spots here that have gotten beaten up. Boy, that would have been entertaining. I almost uh, dipped my brush in the black instead of the white. Unlike my normal, I actually did prep my palette completely today. Happens occasionally where I'll do that. And I do want to just take a peek and make sure you guys are getting the proper view here. I kind of rearranged a little bit where you're sitting. So. Oh yeah, that's about perfect, isn't it? Think. I actually want to come over this a little harder here. And as I said, we're going to soften that yet a little bit more with a different shade of gray just to kind of continue the fade from one color to another. And see, that's why I come up and take a look at what you guys see on occasion because sometimes things show better through the camera than they do actually for me which is very strange you'd think it would be the other way around 
Though there are definitely times where I see a little more clearly than what you guys get to see as well. There we go. And yes, we're starting the day with paint on my finger. That is nothing new. Sometimes you just need a different approach. There we go. Now let's go back to our fun little process of just revamping his colors just a little tiny bit, bringing him back to life a little. This is just a simple white. I didn't go fancy. I didn't mix in other colors or anything. Um, there we go. So it has been a bit of an interesting morning. We learned that the birds will absolutely tattle on one another if they think that it's going to mess up them getting what they want, um, which is really quite funny. We basically have it to where at least Sonny understands that if he is misbehaving, he does not get his favorite movie. He has to be, you know, very sweet and we've actually taught him how to ask for it by name with please at the end, which I am well aware that that is ridiculous and I still have zero regrets on that. Um, but sometimes if he decides to throw fits, we'll pause the movie. And today, Zelda was throwing fits, wanting attention, and instead of joining in, he just kept hollering, Daddy Zelda, which means he wanted us to know that he was not the one making the racket. Which I got a huge kick out of, by the way. So I have noticed you guys definitely seem to do quite a bit more um, action activity on my uh, little shorts of my animals. So you will be seeing more of those. But, if it keeps going where I'm only getting views on my shorts, then I am going to have to stop with them. Because that kind of defeats the whole purpose of the way I have my channel set up. It is meant to be more of these videos with fun cameos from my pets on occasion. Not so much the other way around. Um... If the urge for the pets keeps going, then I might eventually decide to make a new page for them specifically. That's a little ongier than I realized. It's close, but it's not perfect. What can we do to fix that? What if we take just a little bit of that? So I think what we're going to do, instead of driving myself absolutely bonkers, is we're going to go ahead and just go all the way over these. This is one of those, I'm not 100% certain if this was 
always this color or if it has faded down but switch brushes here because I need a little bit more brush if we're gonna go ahead and do this and there is enough damage on this ear I already just covered it up, but you can kind of see, oh, still, there's so much damage on this ear that we can get away with this pretty easily. And I mixed enough that if I need to go over all of the tans, we can get away with that too. He doesn't have a crazy, crazy amount of the tan on him. That's definitely bringing that back to life a little bit. And this brush has seen better days, I am well aware of that fact. But it does have the type of bristles that I kind of wanted. I want a loose... A loose bristle. I actually want a little bit of brush marks because we are painting fur and it's not going to look right if the brush strokes are perfect and even oops didn't mean to bop you guys with it And it kind of works if we end up having a couple of tones in there. You can kind of see, it looks like somebody actually did try to touch this up at one point or another. There we go. Now he's starting to perk up a little bit, isn't he? I don't know if I just did that or if that was there, but we'll fix that too. There we go. Now he's starting to look right. You can kind of see what we're doing. We're just going in, touching up anywhere that you can see the paint has gotten worn off of the statue to where the base is showing through. I'm just basically giving him new life. My brush cleaner is leaking on me. And the reason I actually brought out a little tiny bit of black as well is so that I can come and soften up any of these lines that I need to. Because it's much easier to go darker over light 
for something like that. And we're going to move this very carefully. And hopefully not spill it anymore. And get this little rump spot there taken care of. something about that before it ends up going the wrong direction. So it is going to be another week where I'm probably not going to have a lot of time to post this weekend. I am working for the next few days. Um, pretty normal. I am working my way back to being almost completely on my usual schedule. Um, it's going to be some oddball days, like I'm actually not working on Easter because I am going to be spending that with the family, but I won't be filming that either. There we go. So now he's looking a whole lot better and we're going to come back with this. Just touch in some of these little spots where it needs it a little bit more. You might take a few tries to get this all out of this brush. And that's all right. We're not going super duper crazy here. Oh. I do love that thing, but boy, it can get a little noisy once in a while, can't it? So now, we're going to come back over these black areas that we hit them a little bit yesterday, but I didn't go super, super bonkers with it. So, we're just going to touch over them a little bit more. And just fill in any little holes that I might have missed yesterday. Thing is just going to get in my way, isn't it? I think we're going to move it elsewhere. Pardon me as I dump water all over my work workshop, because, you know, why not? But, well, sometimes you just have to deal with it. nice and black again. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Just makes him look like such a happy little guy, doesn't it? Up 
here and just soften this line a little tiny bit. And then we're going to do the same with this line back here. There's very little paint left on my brush, so and that's the whole idea. Noticed an odd little bit on the nose there. There we go. Now I need So I'm coming in with a whole different type of brush on this one. It's very soft, very light, very loose. This is, well, that's a little too light there. And this is just trying to soften up that transition just a tiny bit. I'm still not loving that white though. I just don't want it quite so muddy looking so that's what we're doing here uh, sometimes you just have to keep playing until you find what you're looking for and it's not always easy and sometimes you're gonna just feel like restarting which you can't always do so you just have to figure out how to work with it and make it what you want it to be as opposed to where you're leaving it, where it's sitting. Now I am very intentionally coming in a lot farther with this white right now. I'm going to be doing it on both sides. And basically what we're doing is making it so that we can come in with that lighter gray and have it look just a little bit neater. So that we have a more consistent... Uh, What's the word? Um, fade from the dark gray around the muzzle to the white around the face. Pardon me while I make messes here. That just kind of happens sometimes. So that's a little bit better. And I might need to do a little bit darker of a gray in places, but that's all right. Um, I think the little bit of a fade from one to the other is going to be easier. And I just came a little too high with that on this side. Go. 
This is not the easiest part. Um, would be easier if I could think what I did with the brush I want. Um, I have a lot of stashes of brushes in a lot of places. So that does happen occasionally where I stick one somewhere and I can't remember which place I put it in. So I really can't blame anyone on that but myself. flatter brush where this one is just a little too pointed for what I'm trying to do. You can kind of see we're not trying to go absolutely bonkers with it, just kind of a fade back. And I think we might end up just doing away with the dark gray here. And I can kind of work with that. I have noticed the more I'm concentrating, the more my voice tw tends to change a little bit. I get much quieter, I think. Hopefully you guys can still hear me well enough. I'm definitely liking the fade into the lighter with that, though. I think it just works a little better. Especially letting that darker gray just kind of sneak through a little here and there. And letting the white show through a little here and there up there. I think that just softens them up a little bit. I think that darker gray was just a little too dark for my liking. And I think that might have been my problem, why I wasn't getting the fade to look the way I wanted it to. And yes, I grabbed just a little bit of white there. So we are trying to fade the two together. go. Now we're getting somewhere. Sometimes you just have to keep playing at it until you find the balance you're looking for. And depending on the project you're doing, sometimes you're gonna have to just start over. Sometimes you have to paint an area white just to figure out what color it should actually be. And that's okay too. I am definitely not against that. So now you can kind of see Just finding that soft blend from one to the other. And that is hard. I will be the first to admit that sometimes finding the effect you're hoping for is really, really hard. But 
if you keep working at it, usually it can be done. And you can make things look kind of the way you want them to. And sometimes it takes a few more coats of paint than you wanted to put down. But is that really the worst thing in the world? Sometimes the paint doesn't go exactly where you wanted it to, and that's okay too. So I think... I think I'm pretty happy with where he's at at this point. I think we've pretty much got him to looking pretty close to where he was supposed to be. Um, I'm just going to lighten this up just a little right here. And I think he's looking much, much better than he was originally. He's definitely happier to have a nose, I'm sure. It's not, it can't be fun to just not have a nose at all. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to fade that nose in as neatly as I would have liked. But without being able to match products perfectly, it is... You know, you can't expect perfection from not having perfection to work with. And we know I'm not all about the perfection to begin with. But I think we're going to call this little gentleman done. And this took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. Basically, all I'm doing right now is just softening that that little bit. Sometimes a finger tap does the trick. So he is definitely looking a little happier, a little healthier. And we are going to call it a day on this guy. And once he's dried, I'll take him out and clear coat him. And tomorrow he'll go home. So until then, I will talk to you guys next time.